Hello viewers, we'll be going over Gush and Drip. In this video, we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and the day-by-day -day probability model. So let's start off with the technical analysis for Gush on the 1-hour chart. We remain in slightly positive MACD, seeing signs of a converge there. And as we extend that to the 4-hour chart, what we have here is we still remain in slightly negative MACD. We're still resting right above the 150 moving average. This red line now at the price of $36.63. As we extend out to the daily chart, we still remain in positive MACD, approaching to negative MACD territory. As for the trade idea of the week, my position, position size is less than 1% of my portfolio, and my long entry is at $33.48. And that is this red line here, and that coincides with previous support levels that dated back to December 1st. My sell target is at $39.93, and that is this range here, and that coincides with the 18-day moving average, this purple line. My stop loss is at $31.94. And now let's examine DRIP. On Friday or Thursday, DRIP closed above 2.8%, and on the one-hour chart, we are slightly in negative MACD territory, resting above the 200 moving average, this green line, now at the price of $25.91. For the 4-hour chart, we remain in slightly positive MACD, and as we extend out once more onto the daily chart, we still remain in negative MACD, and we're no longer at oversold levels with the RSI. As for the trade idea of the week, my position size is less than 1% of my portfolio, and my entry is at $23.30, and that is this range here, and that coincided with the lows in the past that dated back to December 10th as well as December 14th. My sell target is at $28.60, and that is this range here, and my stop loss is at $21.51. So how did I develop the trade ideas? It all comes from the day-by-day -day probability model, which is available in the link below. So we're examining XOP. Gush is a leverage version of XOP, and Drip is an inverse leverage of XOP, so do keep in mind. As we progress to the fifth day or week of trading, we have a 38% chance for XOP to climb between 0 to 6.1%. As for a downside, we have a 50% chance for it to fall between 0 to negative 6.1%, and a 13% chance to fall between negative 6.1% to negative 12.3%. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.